My name is Maria Stefanoni. I go to Harvard University. I play squash there, at least to be, and I'm 20 years old. I've been playing since I was nine. I started um, after I stopped playing soccer, and I've been playing almost every day since. Um, my dad had played squash recreationally, uh, so he knew what it was, and we were looking for an individual sport, um, and squash was just one of the ones I tried, and I really liked it, so then I just, I stopped playing soccer. I was playing both sports for like a year and a half on. And I chose squash and just speak to this. So going into college, I knew I wanted to like pro after school. Um, so I was worried that I wouldn't be able to play tournaments and events uh, to the level that I want to while in school. But I've been lucky that I've been able to train really hard with the team um, and have good people to train with. So then that, that translates into better squash on the pro circuit. So. It's pretty good. It's obviously a big balance with school, active things, and the, the testing, making sure I don't miss any exams, and making sure I go to enough class time. Um, but it's been rewarding, I would say. Yeah, so I didn't necessarily speak to anyone, but um, at Harvard, Ali Farag, Dan Amanda Sobe both are they were at the top in the world, and they went to Harvard, and they spent four years there. So I, I knew that spending four years at a college with a high level of squash wouldn't set me back at all um, and it would possibly propel me forward actually so it's been good so far and um, obviously it'd be incredible to ever be able to say that I'm anywhere near on the frog or, or men so weak so using them as inspiration was important I think. The, the American college circuit has gotten very competitive um, like the top couple of people on each of the top teams are professional level honestly and just uh, the density of good players has really helped, I think, draw in even more players. There's barely a lot of these high level squash players, and it's good to see the pushes all of us. It's good, it keeps me motivated because obviously I want to break into that group, um, but they're all doing so well. So it's, it's nice to see that the US, especially on the women's side, is so strong. I would say definitely think about it strongly and even if you just try to play for a year or two, um, I think it's a very valuable experience. Um, and there are players who have joined the tour when they didn't think that they would, but then college showed them. Also, I'm really enjoying squash. I want to keep pushing forward. So I would definitely say give it a shot if you're even considering it because you only have so much time to use your body in, that, in this high level physicality. So it's definitely worth it. As soon you'll be just working a normal job or something and you won't be able to run like you used to. So the goals right now would be to break into the rankings where I could bake it into platinum events. Uh, that would be nice just so I can play fewer tournaments and miss less school. But um, post college, definitely just want to see where I need to get with my ranking and keep improving, play good squash. I've, I feel like I've improved recently and I'm enjoying the tours the same as always. So just hoping that the excitement and enjoyment remains. Uh, and that's really all I can ask for.